Are you recording this? What's going on? Well, check it out for yourself. It's back again. But this time, I'm going to see what it is. Look, it's big for I know I'm a little slow, but that's not an airplane. Whatever it is, it's shaking my house. La inauguración, entiendo lo mojado, pero la espuma como por qué. Bro, look at these clouds. What is going on? Hi, I'm James LeFleur, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Today we're going to be taking a look at mysterious glitches caught on camera, a bizarre phenomenon that may have some relation to the Oakville Blobs, a monster-like footprint that's been showing up all over the world and creeping a lot of people out, and other strange and creepy videos that will definitely make you question absolutely everything you thought you knew about reality. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Now just imagine how much humanity has evolved in the past few decades. It's quite impressive, isn't it? The medical advancements, the technological advancements, the industry, everything. It's as if it happened too fast. But even with all of this advancement and knowledge that we gained over the years, there's still a lot that we don't know about Earth and the universe itself. Are you recording this? What's going on? All the lights are traffic lights is out too! Oh my god. Yo! What is going on? Yo! Whoa! What? What is going on here? Bro, look at these clouds. What is going on? What is that? Oh, bro. It was on June 2023 that an internet account by the name of BG43012 captured something chilling on camera. She was at her home in West Virginia and it was a cloudy afternoon when all of a sudden she heard what sounded like the sky breaking in half. She immediately went outside to check it out and this is what she caught on camera. 20, 20, 20. I know I'm a little slow, but that's not an airplane, it's not a rocket. Maybe the dragons have been released, somebody pissed off Godzilla. I don't know, what the hell is this? Whatever it is, it's shaking my house. What BG43012 heard that afternoon sounded nothing like an airplane, a helicopter, or anything known to man. It actually sounds as if it's coming from the sky, and it has this metallic characteristic to the sound. Strange and creepy, isn't it? What makes it even creepier is that very little is known about this mysterious phenomenon that has been occurring more and more often lately. There are several theories that range from secret underground tunnel systems to geologic phenomena and even sometimes related with mysterious objects in the sky. ¿Qué cojones? 
No, tú, 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 me estoy acojonando. ¿Esto qué es? While most of the times what we get to hear is this very creepy metallic screeching sound, in very rare cases we get to hear something very different. And this is what sometimes leaves experts and researchers scratching their heads. This for instance is what was heard in Guadalajara, Mexico in 2020. Check this out. What sounds like a loud booming noise followed by a humming sound can be clearly heard in the distance. Whatever is going on here, it seems that the dogs are very much bothered by it. Now what's very creepy about this mysterious phenomenon is that in videos like this one we can actually observe that the sound appears to be coming from the sky and underground at the same time. And this kind of raises some serious questions. So y'all, this is the crazy So I delivered to this place right here, excuse my wish. But I delivered to this place right here, it's under a mountain. Like the whole place is under a mountain. And this is not the only place. They have several of these little tunnels throughout this whole mountain. Like right now, I'm at the bottom of the mountain. The top of the mountain is round the way. But that's crazy. I thought I should, I, I should share that with y'all. Could these mysterious sounds be linked to secret underground constructions? And are these constructions human-made? Or is it maybe otherworldly? Now even though some of these questions might sound far-fetched, there might be a couple of videos that may actually prove that it isn't. On August 2023, a CCTV camera aimed at one of the volcanoes in Mexico captured what looks like a massive fleet of unidentified objects emerging from within a volcano. Whatever's going on here, it doesn't look like it's man-made. And it's not the first time something like this is actually caught on camera. It seems as if there's some sort of extraterrestrial activity going on deep within our planet. And for some mysterious reason, it's been happening more frequently. Now this could explain why places like Mexico are a hotspot for strange sightings. These crafts might be using volcanic entrances to reach deep underground. But the question is, where are they going to? Is it possible that some of the strange sightings that people get to see are actual crafts coming from within our planet and not outside. Something exploded and now this is in the sky. Oh, look, look, look. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Aliens. It's an orb. I got an orb on video right now on the surface of the water. Oh, it's, an, it's, it's just skimming across the water right now. It's not above the water, it's on... Oh! And could there be a massive hidden world deep within our planet, just like you hear in myths and legends of Agartha and other mystical places? It would possibly explain the mysterious sounds in the sky and much, much more. So, if that's 
not the moon. Where is that? But I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? Where are these mysterious sounds coming from? Why are they happening? And is it man-made or is it something else entirely? Now, I don't know about you, but when I was much younger, I remember traveling to the beach with my family during the summertime. And I remember people used to sit down to watch the summer rain form in the horizon. It was sort of scary and stunning at the same time. The smell of the rain, the lightning and all that. But for the past couple of years, people have been noticing something really odd about the sky. Something that's been leaving a lot of people creeped out. What is that? Is that a cloud? Yeah. You see this? What is that? People have been noticing what looks like a mysterious jelly like substance or a white dust that has been falling from the sky. And in the past couple of years, it's been happening more and more often. And no one knows what it is or why this is happening. What the f is? Okay, TikTok, we had rain last week. And I've noticed since the rain that my plants look like they've been spray painted silver. On December 2023, just a couple of days before Christmas, CJ Baker was with his family in Vermont, when all of a sudden he went outside and noticed something really odd about the snow that had just fallen from the sky. This is what he caught on camera. So I was cleaning off this car and I saw these crazy little rainbows and I was like, what are those rainbows coming from? Whatever this rainbowish, oily substance is, many internet users were not convinced that it fell from the sky. So CJ Baker went along and recorded another video in which he does the same thing, but in a different car. And this is what happened. Okay, different car. Gotta test the theory. What makes it do that? After being uploaded to the internet, the video caught a lot of attention and people were completely creeped out. Some people left comments saying that this is possibly pollution from the car's exhaust system. However, the car is electric, so this is not the case. Others suggested that maybe this is pollution from the atmosphere. And some people raised the possibility of being acid rain. Whatever this mysterious oily substance is, it definitely looks as if it's not supposed to be there. And this is not the kind of thing that you see every day. So this may just be some sort of mysterious substance that actually fell from the sky. Strange, isn't it? But it doesn't stop there. Something similar also happened in Malaga, Spain in a video that I featured a couple of months ago. Something similar also happened in the city of Mazatlan in Mexico when a mysterious foam-like substance formed just after a rain and it took over an entire neighborhood. Está lleno de espuma en la calle. Está bien raro este asunto. Mira. At the time, official sources stated 
that this could be soap or some sort of cleaning product. However, there was no further confirmation on this theory and no one was made responsible for doing such a thing. So I'm guessing that this could be something else entirely. But it doesn't stop there. Okay, TikTok, we had rain last week and I've noticed since the rain that my plants look like they've been spray painted silver. I'm not kidding you. Look at that. That is left over from the rain. You see it better in the shade. And it's on this one. It's on all of this one. What the heck was in our rain? I'm in Florida. It looks like it's spray painted silver. So I thought mm, maybe it's just those plants, right? Well, this is a blueberry bush, has it on there. Let's move over here. Okay, the dead blueberry bush. I thought, well, let's check it. Nope, on that one too. What was in our rain? In this particular video, a woman seems bothered by a mysterious silver substance that seems to have coated all of her plants after a strong rain. Whatever this thing is, it's leaving a lot of people creeped out and there's already many theories on what it could be. There's even one that states that The Simpsons already predicted something like this before. I'm stinging. <laughs> Good Lord. Now I did some digging around and I found out that in some cases this is just dust that travels with the wind and with the rain. But in other cases, it's a complete mystery. No one knows what it is. So I want to know your thoughts. Do you think that this is maybe just a coincidence, just dust from rain or wind? Or is it something else entirely? What's your take? Now, I don't know if you agree with me, but 2024 barely started and it's already one of the strangest years yet. And I guess that it's just about to get even stranger. Just a couple of days ago, a mysterious event began to unfold in different parts of North America. What the f was that? I heard some f there. An event that began first in Oakville, Tennessee, a small town with a population of about 40,000 people. The town is shrouded in dense forest and historic buildings and a fog that usually rolls in late at night. It's the perfect place you'd see in a horror movie. And it was very late at night, at around 4 a.m., when internet user Jessica Crow 795 captured something chilling on camera. What the could be that big the size of my footprint she was arriving home from her job when all of a sudden she noticed what looked like bizarre monster-like footprints just next to her house intrigued but at the same time not knowing what she was dealing with she immediately got her camera and began to record what was about to become one of the greatest internet mysteries of the year and this is what she caught on camera all right everybody this is a creepy ass I came home to this at four o'clock in the morning. Y'all see this? This is the same size as my foot. You see this? Same size as my foot. I live in Oakville, Tennessee, which is right outside of Jackson. And this is going all the way around my neighbor's house. Now, this came from over here by my shed, y'all. Right? It's some crazy ass shit. And the weird thing that got me here. Now confused and a bit scared, Jessica continues on following the mysterious footprints in hopes of finding out where they're coming from and what's making it. However, what happens next leaves her completely freaked out. This is what she saw. I was just at the side of my house. Now I'm over here at the front of my house. I seen these three marks, literally, it's just three marks. Three marks, you see this? I said three, sorry, four mark, four mark. It's almost like whatever this was, jumped from my back yard over my house 
and landed right here in my front yard and then just disappeared what the f could be that big y'all see this the size of my footprint there ain't no damn bird that damn big some people believe that this could be a bunny leaving his tracks on the snow and it kind of makes sense but it still doesn't explain how the tracks simply vanish into thin air not only that I did compare some of the footprints in her video with bunny tracks on the snow and they're quite different. So this could be something else entirely. Other internet users left comments saying that this could be a human being playing a prank or a joke using some sort of monster slippers or maybe Bigfoot. But still, it doesn't explain how the tracks simply vanish into thin air. Jump from my back yard over my house and landed right here in my front yard and then just disappeared. Now here's where things take a dark turn. Jessica has a motion activated CCTV camera just in front of her house. And for some mysterious reason, the camera didn't pick up anything that could explain the mysterious tracks. In one moment, there are no footprints in her front yard. Then hours later, that same afternoon before she got home, you can see the footprints there, but not what made them. It's as if whatever it is that left these footprints was untraceable to the camera. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger after several internet users started leaving comments saying that they were seeing the same thing. Stephanie D stated, I live in Middle Tennessee and I have marks that look similar to that on my roof. Another internet user says, I'm in Tennessee and I've noticed them three days ago. Strange that multiple people witnessed very similar things. Even weirder that all prints lead to nowhere. Internet user Hader stated, I'm in West Tennessee and took pics of it leading up to my bedroom window. Nowhere else in the yard. Creepy, isn't it? It's as if there's some sort of invisible humanoid creature lurking around people's homes. There was even an internet user by the name of Henry Pruitt that captured similar tracks on camera just next to his home in Albany, Kentucky. This is what he saw. Can somebody tell me what the hell that is? I came out to feed my dog. I want to go look at it. What kind of is that? Curious, but at the same time creeped out, Henry posted a video to his TikTok page on January 15th, 2024. Most internet users believe these could be bear tracks or maybe someone using monster slippers or something like that. However, on January 16th, the next day, the footprints show up again. Henry goes outside to record it and confirms that these tracks are not made by any neighbor. Check this out. Well, check it out for yourself. It's back again. But this time, I am tired of this sh I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna see what it is and where it's going. Sure hope it ain't none of the neighbors or the neighbor's kids. In the video, Henry promises that he's going to follow the footprints until he finds out what's making them. Not exactly sure this is the best idea. But until now, he hasn't uploaded any more videos. Now I'm not exactly sure if these are bunny tracks or something like that. It's very possible that this is something else entirely. But what? In modern times and that the uh, influence on that that the evil ones have, they take any type of form. They come in all sizes and shapes, either as physical five-fingered beings or even um, material type of things. In certain cultures, it is believed that invisible humanoid creatures may actually walk amongst us. Yeah. Like a thrust and not a hang, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, something they, hard and fast. For any amount of time, the heck was that? Did you see that? Skinwalkers, demons, and creatures similar to the ones that we see in the movie The Predator have been supposedly seen by several people all over the world. And in some cases, this mysterious creature is coined as the Glimmer Man. I'm a man right now, because I really think I just saw, I just saw like, 
I'm gonna open my back over and show y'all that the picture came from the in the back of my yard. That's my backyard. Zoom it in a little piece. This is the exact spot that I just... <laughs> I guess that one of the most credible stories was shared by David Polides in his Missing 411 documentary. The story was first told in Predators in the Woods, a book by Stephen Young. The event happened on September 2010, when a woman was hunting in the woods in Ohio at about 5.30pm in the afternoon, when all of a sudden the woods went dead silent and she saw what looked like a cloaked figure just like you see in movies like The Predator and videos like this one posted by a Reddit user. There's also a very recent picture that was taken by a couple that was traveling in Paraguay. At the time they didn't see anything in the picture, it was after publishing it that many internet users noticed something odd in the background. They decided to make a stop at Pilcomayo River to take a picture of the beautiful scenery. In the background, just across the river, you can see what looks like a large, translucent, humanoid figure. Some people are saying that this is a legit grey alien or something like that. But it doesn't stop there. I guess that one of the creepiest sightings ever was recorded in 1997 in Emerson County. When a father and son decided to venture into the woods, and this happened. Did you see that? Look, 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 over there. You see that? What the hell? Wait, 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 wait. That, cause that was it again, right there, right there. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like this. You see that? Right there. Look, 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 look. look. Oh my god. That's not an animal. Uh, I don't like it. Okay, 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 okay. okay fuck. Even though the video is very old and pixelated, we can clearly see what looks like a translucent humanoid figure in the woods. There's also this mysterious footage coming from a security guard in Disneyland. He captured what looked like a translucent humanoid being walking through multiple cameras. It begins in the haunted house and it goes up until the gate. Did you see that? In the video, we can clearly see what looks like an invisible person. If we zoom in and slow-mo in certain moments, it actually looks as if this thing is able to pass through closed doors. And there's a specific moment there that we can see what looks like its outline. So what's going on here? A ghost maybe? The Glimmer Man? Or something else entirely? If you dig deep into the topic, you'll find out that there are several videos and stories suggesting that there might be some sort of invisible, predator-like creature lurking somewhere out there. If it's extraterrestrial in origin, or if it's some sort of entity, no one knows. But I guess that it's the best explanation I've found for now of these mysterious footprints going on in Tennessee, Kentucky, and other places. I want to know your thoughts. What do you really think is going on here? Is this maybe just a bunny, an owl, or some sort of critter? Or is there some sort of otherworldly explanation to it? What's your take? From simple pixels to jaw-dropping virtual worlds, video games have come a long way very fast. It's mind-blowing to think that we're nearing a point where telling games apart from real life might get tricky. Imagine slipping on a VR headset and not being able to figure out if you're in your living room or in a game. 
In 10 to 20 years, we might not even be able to differentiate reality from a digital simulation. And it's exactly this kind of thought that makes us wonder if we're not already living inside of a digital simulation built by an advanced civilization. Since the topic first became popular in 1999 with the movie The Matrix, several people started coming up with the strangest of theories. And even though some of these ideas may sound far-fetched, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of videos that may actually prove that they're not. Ay, pero por mucho, ¿por qué hacen este? Mira. Mira, hasta se naurió las... Estoy diciendo que mira, mira qué de humo hay. Ya, David, porque puede explotar ahí. It doesn't just appear. So we'll have to come around. It's not that. Oh, there it is. Where? Look. Oh, oh, let this guy go. Did you not just see that? No, are you falling? Look up, look up, look up. Where am I looking? Look. There's a flying tree. In this next video, a man is holding a cat inside of a supermarket when all of a sudden, this happens. Did you see that? If you watch his hands closely, it's as if one of his fingers starts being pulled, but by something invisible. If we slow-mo and rewind the video, you'll see that there's not much of an explanation to what's going on here. Some internet users believe it's a cramp. Others believe it could be related to paranormal activity, or even maybe a glitch in the simulation. But when it comes to glitches in the Matrix, it doesn't stop there. An internet account that goes by the name of Dada Mudda usually posts vlog type videos, either with his friends or family, which includes his wife and his daughter. In one specific video, he's doing one of these TikTok dances when this happens. <laughs> Did you see that? Well, it looks like a hand can be seen reaching for Dada's shoulder, but there's no one behind him. And if we slow-mo and rewind the video, you can see it very clearly. After being posted, the video amassed millions of views and thousands of comments, and internet users were completely baffled. Some believe that this is some sort of glitch in the Matrix, while others state that this is possibly a real person inside the room with them. The only problem is, Dada usually makes videos either with his wife and daughter or his best friend. And in this case, I don't see who could be inside the room with them, being that the hands are really small and seem to be using some sort of red nail polish, I would say that's not his wife. So if his daughter is already in the video, whose hand is it? Not only that, the hand seems to go by unnoticed by Dada or his brother. And in a second video, he confirms that there were only the three of them in that room. So what's going on here? But it's not just at home that these mysterious glitches occur. Rainy Lamers was with a co-worker at her job. They were both typing at the computer. Rainy got up and threw a notepad across the room expecting it to land on a nearby desk. What happens next left her and the entire internet completely baffled. Did you see that? If we slow-mo and replay the video, it's as if the notepad completely disappeared into thin air. Completely baffled by what she saw, Rainy later posted the video to the internet and it caught a lot of attention and many internet users were trying to find an explanation for it. Some stated that the notepad might have landed on one of the slots or next to the AC. Others left comments stating that they've already witnessed something like this before. One states, I once dropped an entire bowl of cereal and watched it fall with my friend and there was nothing on the ground. 
What's weird is that it's not just one comment. It seems that loads of people have witnessed something similar during their lifetimes. Strange, isn't it? Is it possible that the notepad really disappeared into thin air? If we slow-mo and zoom in on the video, you can see that it doesn't land on a slot or next to the AC. It really looks as if it disappeared into thin air. But what's going on here? Is this a legit glitch in the matrix? An alternate universe, a portal maybe? Or something else entirely? What's your take? Imagine waking up in the middle of the night, feeling scared and as if there's something there watching you from the darkness. You look around, you see nothing. Then just when you're about to go back to sleep, you see this tall, dark, shadowy figure standing there just next to your bed. Creepy, isn't it? It's the kind of thing that you'd expect to see in a scary or horror movie. But to certain cultures, these shadowy entities are believed to exist. Known in certain cultures as a jinn or popularly known as a shadow person, these type of entities lurk in the darkness and in most cases, they're not well intentioned. It was apparently with one of these entities that Dino Nuggets started to struggle a couple of years ago when he moved to a new home. Hello? hearing weird noises in the basement, Steve, so I just want to, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no way, no way, oh my god, oh my god, see bro, there's nothing on this floor, hello, yep, bad, I'm not going down there. It is popular belief that the more a person interacts with an entity, the more it has power and energy to interact back with the world of the living. And I guess that this is exactly what was starting to happen in Dino Nugget's case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The following days, his dog starts acting weird and scared, and this is what happens. What's the matter, bud? What's the matter, big guy? Hmm? Something down there. Oh, what'd you hear, buddy? If Dino Nuggets wasn't sure about the presence of a demon or a shadow figure, he now is. And now scared and completely freaked out, he does what anyone would do. And he goes ahead and starts researching exactly how to get rid of this thing. So he proceeds to buy certain items in hopes of protecting himself from this evil entity. And this is what happens next. I'm not afraid, man. Come on out, man. In a very brave move, Dino Nuggets uses a sage to try to cleanse his home. And while doing so, he captures a glimpse of this shadow figure with its two glowing eyes. 
This is what happens the following day. Whatever this thing is, it seems to be getting closer and Dino Nuggets makes a smart decision and he decides to move out. You know, this is one of the things that we're going to try. Opportunity came up in another state. Um, you know, live in three times the home for half of what I'm paying here in Colorado. Uh, the renter's market's good out here, so it won't take. But days before moving out, Dino Nuggets actually captures one of the most chilling videos when it comes to shadow people. He was with his nephew in his home when this happened. Did you see that? If you watch closely at a certain moment in the video, it looks as if there's a demonic face smiling in the darkness just behind his heating system. Whatever's going on here, it doesn't look like it's a good thing, and it didn't take long before Dino Nuggets moved out, and I'm glad he did. Some internet users left comments suggesting that he might be living in a house that has some sort of pocket to another dimension or an alternate universe, and that maybe he's interacting with an alternate reality. But I'm not exactly sure that this is the case. What do you think is going on here? Could this be the real deal? And what would you have done in his place? Now this is it for now, but we do have more videos. Don't forget to check them out. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Also, if you'd like to send me strange videos and stories, thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com. And I'll see you guys again.